and thank you for joining in today. I pray that you would leave touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome again, mighty warrior of God. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Wow, I take it you being blessed. The fire of God is touching you. And together we're going to win the loss for Jesus. Amen. And I pray today, no matter what your circumstances are, God has a word for you. God is in the business of setting you free healing your disease and yes we serve a god that's a god of miracles that is that is all powerful amen and i'm excited again in my spirit to share what god has put in my spirit and i'm going to take you to the book of x yes x of the apostles and i'm going to take you to chapter 28 and we're going to read from verse 3 right up to verse 6 but i'm going to focus just on a one or two verses and i encourage you always have your bibles or your devices ready for reading god's word and um, i i suggest you go and do some of your own due diligence yes and study god's word go back to the uh, beginning of x and study the book of x it's uh, power like x18 says for you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Amen. What is that power for? To make you a strong, a great witness for Jesus from Jerusalem to all of Judah, to Samaria and to the ends of the world. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but I'm just bubbling in my spirit. Back to God's word. Verse 3 in the book of Acts, in the 28th chapter. But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on a fire, a viper crawled out because of the heat and it fastened itself to, its, to Paul's hand. Now friends, I'm going to take you back a few steps. Here, Paul had just been shipwrecked on the island of Malta. Yes, and none of the word that God gave that everyone as to stay in the boat to be saved yes friends that's a prophetic word i'm giving to you today you got to remain in god's presence soaking in his word believing that he is god and god alone and we'll pass the stage that we're going through with his providence with his protection with his power yes amen so paul just survived a major shipwreck friends I don't know where you are in life right now that's a matter between you and God you could have been through a major shipwreck yourself yes but I and you've landed in a time where God is ministering to you friends I've got good news for you in the midst of our trouble he is still in control yes God is still in control look what happened you see Paul survived this massive shipwreck and here yeah, he's on this island and gathering wood and putting them in the fire. Friends, when the fire of God is upon you, friends, the devil has to leave. Amen. When the fire of God is in, the pres in your presence, in the room that you're in, when the Holy Spirit's filling your life, everything that doesn't belong to God has to leave. Hallelujah. Yes, I've been through that process and I, I am still going through that refining process. Amen. This viper, the devil's bite, came upon him, grabbed his hand. Friends, you may be feeling that right now. Oh, I've done so much, Pastor. I've been through so much. Yes, you could have been through um, major trauma in your life you could have been betrayed by a loved one you could have been through a nasty divorce you could experience you could have experienced the pain of death friends and here you are just being ministered to and then comes calamity just like when the viper grabbed Paul's hand friends look what happened 
the people of the island of Malta started to say, oh, undoubtedly this man is a murderer. Yeah, because he just survived a major storm and a major shipwreck. And they saying, he has been saved from the sea, yes. And I'm just giving you the uh, important parts of that verse. And yet the avenging goddess <laughs> has not permitted him to live. Friends, even in this time of difficulty, friends, family would look at you and say, Ah, man, why didn't you just give up? Try something new. Um, you've done so much of fasting, so much of praying, so much of this. Where has it all taken to you? Where is your God? Friends, stick around. He promised in his word never to leave you, nor forsake you. He promised in Deuteronomy 31.6 to give you boldness, to give you strength. Yes. And look what happened in verse 5. And this is the highlight of today's devotion. Paul simply shook the creature off into the fire and suffered no ill effects. Let's, let me read that again. Paul simply, I'm reading in the Amplified Version, shook the creature off. Friends, I titled our time together. I got to shake it off. Yes, I got to shake it off. Just like Paul did. Friends, he didn't go and call the rest of the island and see, look what's happening. Walk around with this viper stuck onto his hand. How many of us today, friends, when some calamity hits us, when something goes wrong, we start a WhatsApp group. We start to phone this and phone that person and say, look what's going on, friends. I'm not saying don't seek help. It's time you get on your knees. It's time that I got on our knees. Even through this difficult time when the coronavirus is trying its best to ravish the earth, the globe, yes, friends, just not a nation, not a little town, but the entire globe. It's time we stand up and raise our voices. Yes, it's time to do that. Shake it off. That's what Paul did. Yes, friends, that's what the power God will give you to shake it off. That's the power we have when the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. We just shake it off. And I prophetically say to you today that that time of shaking it off is now. I said it's now in Jesus' name. Just shake it off, my friend. Wherever you are, you know, I like doing this. I'm a physical demonstrator, therefore you find my hands move all the time. I want you to do this wherever you are and just say, shake it off. Yes, just shake it off, friends. It's time for you to shake it off. And look what the natives of the island did. They stood watching and were perplexed and amazed. And they began saying, he, he was a small letter G-O-D. That's what your friends will say. When you go through the enemy's attack, the storm, the shipwreck, those that wanted you to see your demise and downfall will suddenly say, wow. And you can stand up and declare, look what the Lord has done. But it all stems and ignites from starting that fire in your life. Then only can you shake it off. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, we come to you in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Daddy, for the Holy Spirit. And today I pray the fire of God again upon each one that's watching, Daddy. Lord, it's time for us to shake off the bite of the enemy. Lord, the attack of the enemy. Yes, too long, Lord, we walk around being agents for the devil and, and saying, look what I'm going through. Look where I am. Look what the devil is doing. It's time to shake it off and give you the glory. It's time to stop talking about your goodness and your power. And I declare today in Jesus' name, as I raise my hands out to those that are watching right now and hearing by the airwaves and by audio, that everything that has gripped your hand that has grabbed your life i declare in jesus name right now shake it off it is gone in jesus name hallelujah
Wow, friends. Indeed, I don't know about you, but in this place, the fire of God is here. I can imagine we are in the airwaves. What's happening? We are in the devil's territory. He is so-called the prince of the air, and we fighting those battles on his ground as such. Friends, my time's up again. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels, praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.